morning grade 10 I will now send you a video a very short one on the revision of yesterday's work which is the limits of accuracy for the purpose of making a second video on today's work okay remember people when we work with limits of accuracy the numbers that you are given are already rounded numbers Okay, so when you go and look on page 25 in your textbook, you will find this table. And I'm just going to explain on this table how I told you how you can do this. Um, and if I explain that, it's not going to be very clear because this table is very small. But once I have done that, I hope you do understand this table. Okay, so when you look at the left column... It gives you a measurement, okay, in this case it is 6 gram, which was rounded to the nearest hole, okay. Then the next one gives you 220, where it says it was rounded to the nearest 10 meter. So in any limit of accuracy question, people, you will be given numbers and you will also always be given the nearest something. Okay, so how did I explain that to you? I told you people that you must look at the nearest. In this case, it says whole number. So whole number means people, you must have a unit. Then you underline the unit. Remember, this is the unit. Then comes the decimal point and then tens, hundreds and thousands. So you underline the digit to which it was rounded. Okay, let's go to 220. It was rounded to the nearest 10. So you must underline the place value of 10, which is that 2. Underline that one. Okay, let me skip a few. Let's go to this one. It's 1.41 rounded to the nearest or to correct to 2 decimal places. So count your decimal places. That's the first one. That's the second one. So underline the second um, um, decimal place here. So when you have done the underlining, under that you put a little one. Okay, so here under the two, you put a one. Here under the one, you put a one. Okay, so the underlined digit, you underneath put a one. Then you complete the rest of the places of that number with zeros. So in this case, people, there is no more des uh, uh, digits. So this remains one. Okay. Now here, you've got a one there. So you put a zero there. You can put a zero here, but people, but it's not necessary. So this becomes 10. Can you see that this is 10. If you go to this one, you must put a 0 under the 4, then you have your decimal point, then you must put a 0 under the 1. So this becomes 0 0.01. Okay, now this is the one number that you will always divide by 2. Okay, divide by 2, divide by 2. All right, so take that 1, there's the 1, you divide that by 2. And that gives you an answer of 0 0.5. Here you have 10. Okay, there's the 10. Divide that by 2, which gives you an answer of 5. Here you've got 0 0.01. There is your 0 0.01. Divide that by 2, which gives you 0 0.005. So this, people, is really the limit. Okay, and then to calculate the lower bound and the upper bound, remember you're just simply going to subtract 0 0.5. Here you will add 0 0.5, I, sorry, 5, to the number that was given. So what is the number? The number was that was given was 6. So here you have 6 minus 0 0.5, which gives you 5.5. Here you will have 6 plus 0 0.5, which gives you 6.5. So your lower bound, your lowest possible number that can be rounded to 6, okay, is actually 5.5. And then your upper bound is 6.5. But remember, this is just less than 6.5. So how would we write this as an inequality? You would say that x is greater 
O equal to 5.5, but it is less and no equal people to 6.5. And that's your inequality and it's always like that people. You always have your X here or your number given. Okay, on that side, you always have greater or equal and on the other side, you have less than. Okay, and no equal to. Important. People 6.5, if we round that to the next whole number, it will become 7. So 6.5 is not included. But everything that is smaller than 6.5 is included. Okay, so let's go to the, through the next two examples. Remember here we got the 10. We divide that by 2 and we get 5. So now you take the original number that was given. 220 to get the lower bound subtract this limit that you calculated 5 okay and 220 minus 5 gives you 215 for the upper bound you have 220 plus 5 plus your limit which gives you 225 so the inequality would be x is greater than or equal to to 215 and it is less than 225 okay in the last example we've got the 0 0.01 0 0.01 divide that by 2 which gives you 0 0.005 now for the lower bound take your original number which is 1.41 subtract 0. 005 which gives you 1.405 and then for the upper bound you have 1.41 add here 0 0.005 and that gives you 1.415 so the inequality would read x is greater and or equal to 1.405 and less than 1.415 in this case it's kilogram okay that's how to calculate your um, upper and lower bound so that was yesterday's work people and if you were unsure about yesterday's work then I would suggest that you after watching this video work through those exercises that I or try now that I gave you to do and ensure that you got the correct answers, that you can do the calculation of upper and lower bound, please. Okay.